Hi, everybody. This is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food, talking about keto, carnivore, carnivish. It's 4 a.m. as I'm recording this. Oh, yes, my keto fathead pizza crust is cooked. I'm browning the burger that I put on top of it. I've cut my pepperoncini up a little bit, so it's draining. And I'll put that on the pizza, too, my little rouse pizza sauce and my little glass baby food container because I um, break it all down and put it into those and freeze them because it's just a smear of red that I put on the pizza. That's defrosting. I'm telling you, I am on it today. The laundry is cooking. Pretty soon it'll be drying. I love it. It's a good Saturday so far. How are you? Um, well, I was talking with my friend um, June, who you see comment here often, and not talking, but we exchange morning emails. And um, and she said something, and I said, oh, there's the, there's the topic for the next recording, next video. Time and effort. She was talking about, a, you know, how we treat our food program and how it takes time and effort. There's no way around it. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't have three assistants making sure that, you know, my pinky is out as I drink my British tea in the morning. <laughs> No, it's not like that at all. It takes me putting in time, me putting in the effort, me paying attention all day long to hunger um, signs, uh, craving signs, triggers, you know, looking forward to my OMAD. Is it planned? Is it in my chronometer so I know I'm having it? All of the things, paying attention, that's the effort. And realizing that, you know, Wow, last night I had fish for dinner. I didn't, but I'm just saying. Just saying. And you know what? It wasn't satiating at all. I found myself kind of hungry before before going to bed. I wasn't going to eat, but I just made note of it because that's how it goes. And I'm, I suppose if I do have any um, fish that Greg catches, I will have to have something on the side that like is beef just to go with it. Um, last night I felt, I felt not hungry, but not full. And, um, when I finished my meal, I had five ounces of beef tenderloin and four ounces of sweet Italian sausage with my two, I had two fried eggs and no cheese. And, um, yeah, I felt like I could have had one more ounce of the beef or one more ounce of the sausage or one more Pete and Jerry egg. It was just that odd feeling of like, yeah, my stomach didn't quite feel full. Like I, you know, went to the gas gas pump and stopped when I still had, you know, two more dollars worth of gas I could have pumped. That's how it felt. I'm fine today. And I didn't wake up hungry or I'm not going to eat and nothing like that. But just being aware the time and the effort that I spend. And so I do know it works. Even down to my fathead pizza on Saturday. I usually have 11 pieces. And the pieces are, hmm, kind of like, kind of like that. That's what they look like. They're little squares that I cut, maybe two by four or something, two by three. And I usually have 11, not 10, not 12, but 11. And I don't know, I don't know if it's just my woo-woo head, you know, or um, it really, you know, the way that I do it visually is really how it fits tummily <laughs> in my stomach. So anyway, I just kind of laugh, but it does take time and it does take effort. And um, I do take the time to put my food in. And I said to you many times that a lot of the times the chronometer is merely a, um, a tool of listing the day that I'm going to have the certain food. Today is my, what I call my meat gathering day. And I will go to Whole Foods and maybe Star or Stop and Shop and definitely BJ's. And I will uh, get the prime, not prime rib, the um, ribeyes, the tenderloin. I don't need burger. Um, I don't need the sweet Italian sausage. But, oh, Porterhouse Steak is on sale everywhere. So I will get a couple of those, maybe two packs, one to freeze and one to have because when it's $5.99, it's just a good deal. And um, 
So that'll, you know, that will be, oh, and I've got lamb chops, a rack, a rack of lamb chops, too, that we're going to cook on the big green egg, too. So, you know, all I need are the five meals, actually six, because the ribeye is, is Sunday, big green egg day. So I'll do all of that, and um, along with my Ubering and lifting, and it will be a nice day. But, you know, just like getting the meat in the house, that takes time and effort, right? I have to know, I have to read the flyers and know what's on sale and plan, you know, when I turn off my, my apps for driving so I don't get any, you know, requests for rides. And I dash into these stores, get the things, bring them home. It's also a perfect time to make another, another cuppa. And um, that's it. You know, there's nobody else that's doing it. Greg isn't on the sidelines saying, don't forget to go to BJ's for the ribeye. He's not saying that. He doesn't have to. You know, it's kind of like in my DNA to plan out my seven days worth of meals. Greg has tons of sides with his meals. So I have to make sure that I have five of this and five of that and five of that and um, have that all assembled too. So I can just, you know, put it on his plate. Um, sometimes it's veggies. Sometimes it's like five avocados. Sometimes like he has chopped tomatoes. He loves strawberries with Brianna's blush vinaigrette, I think. And so lining up all of his sides as well. And I just, I put in the time and the effort. And I will tell you that the anxiety involved in not putting in the time and the effort for somebody like me who wakes up anxious and making sure that everything is, is tended to, that takes more time in my head than actually doing the task at hand. Whether it's bringing something up from the basement where I call it the Walmart room <laughs> to have like another jar of the pizza sauce or you know something like that that I need to put into the little baby food containers, all that sort of stuff, time and effort. And the flip side is that putting in the time and the effort for your food program will give you calmness, a whole lot less anxiety. There's this overall piece of the day because you've got it put together. There's no flying by the seat of your pants and, oh, we'll find something along the way and all of that. I suppose you can live that way, but um, I know that people, they, they say that people, they get up early and uh, are successful in business, you know, and um, it's like a Stephen Covey thing, I think. And, um, you know, the principles, seven effective principles or something like that. But it's true. You know, those that plan, um, plan their day will have a success because it is there. It doesn't have to be on paper. It doesn't have to be in a chronometer. But look how light out it is for 4 a.m. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Or maybe because there's a light over there. Um, and so I love, I love Dawn. Um, I love Dawn. She's my favorite. <laughs> uh, so that that's how I do it. It's it's the time. It's the effort. Sometimes it's literally food prep, you know, with a knife and putting it in a bowl and putting it in the fridge and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And then other times it's the head thing. It's the, it's the post-its that we, I don't know about you guys, but this is my brain. And look at my brain has all, it has all these chances. <laughs> of reminding me what to do. And it just, I don't know, it just gives me comfort to know that things are planned. You can plan 24 hours. You can plan what you're going to eat all week. So when you go shopping, you don't need to buy four packages of chicken thighs because it's not even on your menu for the week, right? Unless you've got tons of freezer space and it's 59 cents a pound, that sort of thing. But you know, that, that, that's how I do it. I actually am working on my freezer items too because I have plenty. And uh, like when I go to BJ's and I get my um, meat for the um, fathead pizza, I break it up into little things and wrap it in the stretch tight and put it in the freezer so then I can take out a package of the um, hot ham, a package of the large um, pepperoni that I get for the pizza, things like that. And then it's, it's there, it's done, and I don't have to worry about it. I've got tons of cheese because I always buy, you know, if it's two for four, well, I'm going to buy six. So I always have plenty of cheese. And it's just always makes for comfort for me, comfort for my head. It's done, it's planned. Just like me getting up and making my fathead crust 
at three in the morning for pizza later today. So I can go out and Uber and know at some point I'm stopping for my meat gathering, but otherwise, you know, I'm available. You know, my, my clothes are clean and ready for my midnight shift tonight. That's like that kind of stuff. So anyway, I, I emailed the sergeant and told him I'm giving up one of the three shifts. So excited. So through the month of August, I will do Tuesdays, Monday into Tuesday morning, midnight to eight, and then it's done. So then I will just be down to two. And yes, I'm leaving money on the table, but it's worth it for me. Um, you know, there's a whole lot of things that go along with not sleeping. Um, one of them is kind of constipation, that brain fog, stuff like that that happens. So it's going to be one less day of that. And I'll have, um, I will have four back to back to back whole nights in my own bed with my own my pillow and um to me that that works out just fine um and so i'm looking forward to that and i actually got another matron to do half of the august shifts too so um really i've only got four or five left and then i'll be down to two and i will keep it there yes the uber is making me much more busy during the day but when it's when it's not busy with uber then I can come home and do little food prep things. It's, it's like it's like a job designed perfectly for me because I still get my home time. You know, I can come home and vacuum. I've got the app with Uber on in one hand and my little Dyson animal uh, in the other and things get done and yet I'm still working, you know, uh, or available. And I like that. So that's my little time and effort topic for the day. Take care of yourselves, because I don't think you have two or three assistants um, running around making sure that your every move is taken care of. And, you know, there's no pee under your 11th mattress piled on. What was it? The princess and the pea? Yeah. I don't think any of us have that going on today. And that's maybe how we got to gaining weight, because we did. We did fly by the seat of our pants for meals, and that meant a lot of bready sort of things um, or takeout or extra, the sodium, not minerals in our salts, but those, that chemical sodium stuff. And so this is really taking care of yourself when you slow it down, you know, just, just taking the chronometer and putting in, you know, keto meatloaf and then pork ribs and then burgers, you know, then, then you can build on that. It's not necessarily for your macros. It's not, you know, hard tracking. It's just taking care of your needs and knowing what's coming up on the menu. So when you go to the store, then you buy for what's on the menu. I don't know, it just works for me. Anyway, these are musings from a crazy lady. <laughs> I will see you the next time. I'm so glad you're here. Time and effort. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.